Hi right, folks, welcome back to the Monkey's Uncle Dubs Club. Now, Carl, one of our members, has been having a few problems with the oil warning lights coming on, flashing up orange. So we checked the oil, obviously when the engine was cool, and topped it up, and give it a run down the motorway, and it still came on showing the uh, oil warning lights. So we know we've got plenty of oil in, it's not leaking anywhere. So the other problem we think it possibly could be is the oil pressure switch so you've got your oil filter here and along there you've got the oil pressure switch housing so what we need to do is take that off there this bit here take this clip off and do that clip off there and this is your old oil pressure switch so I've unloose, already loosened that a little bit so we'll just take that off there unscrew that out I'll show you that in a minute but that's where it's going to come off so this is the new one slightly different from the old one you see that's uh, the original one from Germany on it so make sure we have that little ring on it there so we'll get back underneath and we'll fix that in uh, this is the actual part number that you need the oil pressure switch uh, this was from GSF company, parts company. That's the oil pressure switch. Details that you require, that's the correct one. Right, so we've put the new one, put the new one back in there. You see that clip has to go back over the end there now. The advice is on these is not to nip them up too tight when you put it back up so we'll just put that uh, plug back on there and then we'll give the van a run and see if the oil pressure warning light comes back on again right okay so we'll start the, uh, the van up at the moment there's nothing showing wait for the glow plug light to go out So what we need to do now is let it get up to temperature and let the pressure build up and once the pressure builds up we'll go and give it a run, give it a quick blast down the motorway and see if the light comes on and see if that's cured it. Should have ideally uh, showed you prior to this but uh, it was a bit of a rush job this one. We just needed to get uh, the oil pressure uh, sensor switch done and dusted. Uh, we're going away shortly in the van so it was a, a quick video. So hopefully this uh, should cure it we'll get back to you after we've had a run we've been out for about a good 20 minutes got the engine nice and warm and there are no warning lights on there which is good um, the part itself we got from a company called GSF Golf Sierra Foxtrot GSF parts um, and it was actually only seven pound so I don't know how much a garage would have charged you for that but we've managed to save ourselves a fortune there by a simple quick fix and yeah there's still no warning lights on so i can safely say i think we've cured that car don't you yep nice one thanks for watching <laughs> if you like the video give us a thumbs up and we'll see you next time on the monkey's uncle dubs club